The video for today is going to be very interesting because I'm going to speak to you about Google Find My Device. Can we track a lost or stolen phone using Google Find My Device application? How to access the application for Android users? Number two, how does it work in tracking a phone and Google Maps? And could it actually track a phone? What are its limitations? I'm going to speak to you about all these things in the video for today. So let's get into the video for today. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown. Welcome to Channel Signatech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic. Well, if you're not, I'm sure you may have misplaced your phone or you have lost it. So you're watching my video for today to understand whether or not Google Find My Device could help you to track your lost phone. So the first thing is you need to understand what Google Find My Device is. Google Find My Device is a tracking application by Google and it actually helps you to track a lost or stolen phone on Google Maps. And it is very easy to get access to Find My Device. You could get your friend's phone or you could get a laptop laptop and you could get onto Google like this and just do a search for find my device. Google gives you all the search results out here. You click on the first option and you would be prompted to log in with the same email ID which was on the phone that you had misplaced. So if you do that, Google is going to trace your phone to a specific location. No matter where you are in the world, if you're traveling from one place to the other and you realize once you reach your destination that your phone is misplaced, you could utilize Google Find My Device to know where your phone was last or where it was misplaced. Google Find My Device works only for Android devices. So, so if you are a person who had an Android tablet or an Android phone and has misplaced it, this is actually going to help you out. So Google Find My Device is totally based out of Google. Google Maps. So when you log into your Google account on a new phone, that gets connected to the Google server. So that becomes a part of Google Maps. So that device gets linked to Google Maps. So whenever you try to even see where your phone is, even if it was not misplaced, you are actually going to see it on Google Maps as if to say it was a building or a specific place on Google Maps. So it becomes a part of Google Map if you log in with a Google account and you switch Find My Device to on. Obviously, these days, Find My Device automatically is, is set to on when you register a new device with Google. And Google Find My Device could actually help you track a lost or stolen phone on Maps itself. That is absolutely 100%. But there are limitations to this. The first thing is your phone has to be connected to the internet. If your phone is not connected to the internet when it was misplaced, this application is only going to show you the last location of the phone. Phone. So say supposing you were at a restaurant, that is something common for me. Sometimes we just, uh, you know, leave the phone on the table or on the chair or on the, uh, you know, windowsill, whatever it is, and we walk out of the restaurant. So when you realize that your phone is not with you, you immediately take your friend's phone or you could get your laptop and uh, you could try tracing using the same email address which was on the phone and you're going to see the location of the phone. So if it is still in the restaurant, you could go there and get your phone back. But if somebody has taken your phone from there and has switched off your phone because he or she doesn't have the intention of giving your phone back, then in such cases, this service is going to be limited because phone is switched off. It is not connected to the internet anymore. So you could actually utilize these services out here only if the phone is connected to the internet. Like if your phone is put to silent, you could click on play sound. If you want to secure your device and lock it, you could click on this option. If you want to format your device, whatever you have synced to your Google account is going to get erased. All right. These services are only going to be accessible if your phone is online. So this is a fantastic application, a fantastic concept by Google. But you need to understand this, that until and unless your phone is online, you are not going to get the exact location. So these are the pros and cons for Google Find My Device. So what I would suggest is the first thing is if you have misplaced your phone, if you try tracing your device on Google Find My Device, it gives you a location. I want you to get back to that location to see if you can get the phone. If you cannot get the phone, then your next step 
should be to get to the local police station to file an, an FIR so that you have a proof that your phone was misplaced, you have informed the authorities so that you are safe and not pulled up for any kind of a illegal activity through your phone which was actually stolen. It's very important to do so, all right? Once you have a copy of your FIR, then, then you have two options. If you are in India, you could come back to the police station every two or three days to find out if your phone was uh, traced and if they do trace your phone, obviously you are going to get it back but i would advise you to keep the copy of the fir so i hope this clears out that cloud of confusion from your mind about google find my device and how this actually functions so i hope this clears that cloud of confusion from your mind because a lot of people are getting confused about google find my device they just think that you could get onto google find my device log in and bam your phone is going to be found on maps you could get there and get back your phone it doesn't work that way I hope my video has cleared out all your confusion and I hope you like this video. If you did, give my video a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care my friend.